how well do you guys think that you know Roblox Piggy? Because today we are going to be going through 50 Piggy secrets that you will not know about. <laughs> Now, of course, we have been doing this series for quite some time now. We also did a movie the other month, and you guys seem to have loved that movie. Now, that movie was, of course, covering parts one to part five, and this one is no different. This one is covering part six to part eight. 10. So all of those secrets in one video. And of course, if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, then why not consider subscribing? It is most definitely free and you can always change your mind later on in the future. Also, if you could be using star code antics when you're buying your Robux or premium, that would be much appreciated. Oh, and while we're here, you might as well join my Roblox group as well. So make sure to head on down into the description and find the Discord link. Now, I think it's time that we we jump into this, so I'm gonna stop waffling. Let's do this. Number one, Kamosi. So did you guys know that Kamosi, this skin right here, is based around the Pharaoh that literally dates back to the 1500s? And that is also before Christ, so that is roughly 4,000 years ago that this Kamosi character from Piggy is actually based around this Pharaoh. Now I'm going to read a little bit about this Kamosi Pharaoh for you guys to actually have a little bit of an understanding as to what the Kamosi skin is. Now of course the Kamosi skin in Piggy is literally a mummy skin with claws. So when the Kamosi skin did come out of of course, everybody went to the Egyptian times and everybody thought that this Kamosi skin was basically based around the Egyptians. So here is a little bit of information on the Kamosi Pharaoh. Kamosi was the last Pharaoh of the Theban 17th <laughs> Dynasty. <laughs> That was really hard to say. The Ban 17th Dynasty. He was possibly the son of, oh my goodness, I have no idea how to say that. Senkwanenura Tao and Ahopetep. <laughs> and the brother of Amosi, founder of the 18th Dynasty. His reign fell at the very end of the Second Intermediate Period. Kamosi is usually ascribed a reign of three years, his highest attested regional year. Although some scholars now favour giving him a longer reign of approximately five years, his reign is important for the decisive military initiatives he took against the Hyksos, who had come to rule much of ancient Egypt. His father had begun the initiatives and lost his life in battle battle with the Hiskos. It is thought that his mother, as regent, continued the campaigns after the death of Kamosi, and that his full brother made the final conquest of them united all of Egypt. I don't know why, but that was extremely hard to read. I know that my reading is pretty trash anyway, but that was extremely hard to read. But all you guys do need to know is that the Kamosi skin from Piggy was based around this pharaoh right here. Number two. PGHL Films Now did you know that PGHL Films was actually once like asked by Minitoon to do the animations for Piggy. So I'm going to put an image up on the screen right here. Now this is an image from one of Minitoon's uh, yeah, live streams. I don't know if this is a little bit cheeky, but there's this image that's been going around and it basically shows a DM that is between Minitoon and PGHL Films. I wanted to just include this anyway, because I did think that this was a very cool secret. Now on the 2nd of April this year, 2021, Minitoon messaged PGHL Films saying, Ahoy PGHL Films, I have a question for you. Do you animate your work inside of studio? And PGHL Films replies saying, yes, I do. <laughs> what a chatterbox, eh? <laughs> Anyway, Minitoon then replies saying, Well, animating to me has been the most harrowing part of creating cutscenes. I'm more focused on the story, and the animations just take quite a lot of time to make for me. I'm a big fan of your work and was wondering if you'd like to, the opportunity to join the Piggy team. Now, PGHL Films then replies saying, I was actually thinking about that, but there are two problems I have. One, I have no skill of scripting whatsoever. Two, I actually 
he, I'm really busy with school. He then goes on to say that he could send some animation emotes and stuff like that for Minitoon to use. But I did think that this was a pretty cool secret that Minitoon actually considered PGHL films to do the animations that we all watch inside of Piggy. And let's be honest, PGHL films animations are actually really well done. So am I surprised by this? No, I'm not really surprised by this, but it was quite cool to see when it actually came out. Number three, Lambridge. Now, what if I was to tell you guys that I bet that you have probably missed this secret inside of Piggy. So we all know that we have Lucella. We all know that we have Doveport. But what if I was to tell you that we also have a place called Lambridge? And we know that we have a place called Lambridge because if you go into the safe place and you go into Giraffe's room, there is a certificate on the wall which basically reads out saying, this certificate certifies that Giraffe has shown exceptional skills in environmental studies at the biology school of Lambridge. So not only do we know that there is another place called Lambridge but Giraffe is actually really good at biology and biology actually being quite a very detrimental kind of thing going into Piggy. I mean if he worked in medicine that would probably be a lot better but the fact that he actually worked in biology and biology is all to do with the body that's quite interesting, especially considering that Piggy is all about the infected and how the body reacts to the infection as well as all of the eyes and stuff. So I do find that pretty interesting. Number four, Dakota. Now what animal do you guys think that Dakota actually is? I want you guys to go into the comment section down below right now and message in the comment section what animal do you think that Dakota actually is? Have you done it yet? Have you actually gone down into the comment section? Because if you put a dolphin, you would be wrong. Because Dakota is not in fact a dolphin and is actually this thing right here. Here. So this thing that you are looking at right here on the screen is something called a dugong. Now this has been confirmed by Minitoon that Dakota is not a dolphin and is in fact a dugong. So if you guys thought that Dakota was a dolphin then you would be wrong because Dakota is actually Dakota dugong. If you guys say it, it's actually really fun to say dugong. <laughs> Number five, don't press forward. Now we had a total of 8 notes in Piggy chapter 10, however we did also get a very clear message in the lead up to chapter 10. Minitoon was tweeting out some images that did actually hide some kind of wording inside of those leaks. The first one being don't, literally right there. The second one then said press. And finally of course the final leak that we did have for chapter 10 had forward literally hidden in that leak. Now I'm almost certain that Again, this is that T.O. character playing or saying this again. So this is going to be pretty interesting because it's kind of like a threat or like a warning. Don't press forward. Why do we not want to press forward? Because we're literally just trying to get a vaccine to save our friend. So I do feel like a lot of people have completely forgotten this don't press forward extra kind of note type thing that was in Piggy chapter 10. And it is most definitely a warning that not a lot of people should really forget about. Number six. Harold. Now a lot of people don't think that Harold is going to be this thin T.O. guy right here. And Creecraft did do a video the other day and said that, you know, you don't really have evil people called Harold. Doesn't really fit. Doesn't sound like, you know, Magneto or that Creecraft said. But uh, I kind of get what he's saying. Harold doesn't really sound like an evil guy. But maybe Harold was somebody before this T.O. guy was actually a thing. Maybe this Harold was some form of character way before he turned into this insolent persona. But what I would like to show you guys is if you go onto Minitoon's Twitter and you go back as far as the 19th of September you will see this image right here. Now this image right here is literally a it's a stick man. It's a stick man with the, the purple hat that we did get the emojis for chapter 10 as well. So that's the only thing that I'm linking them towards each other and below that it literally said Harold as well. So it's kind of a little bit confusing that Minitoon did put this whole stick man onto Twitter and literally captured it Harold. And now all of a sudden Piggy chapter 10 we're literally getting emojis with these purple hats and then we get this really really skinny fella called Tio potentially. But again like always 
Only time will tell. Number seven, Miss P redesign. Now, if you missed this video the other day, I would actually say you should go and watch it. It's pretty funny. It's don't take it too seriously. It is just fun and games between me and Creekcraft. But this entire video kind of sparked a little bit of a Mrs. P redesign topic. Now, we do know that Mrs. P is most definitely going to be getting some form of redesign because she Mini Toon really needs to legally do it because Mrs. P right here, the original Mrs. P looks exactly like the Peppa Pig one. So Mini Toon 100% has to change Mrs. P, otherwise he could face copyright issues. That being said, it looks as though this hat right here that was tweeted out by Mini Toon could potentially have something to do with Mrs. P's redesign. And so I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing what Mrs. P redesign is actually going to be like. I feel like it's going to be a lot better than the first one because Mini Toon's assets has literally grown over the last year or so. He has gotten so much better at building, he's gotten so much better at creating characters, so I'm really excited to see what Minitoon has done to recreate Mrs. P. Number 8, Tio. Now it looks as though this skinny fella from Piggy Chapter 10 is going to be called Tio. However, there is a little bit of controversy around this because Mini Toon knows exactly what he's doing here. Now some clever person managed to actually go into Mini Toon's inventory and he took this Tio skin and actually took it into a Roblox studio. And then you can clearly see that it literally says Tio there. Now, I'm sure we're all aware by now that Mini Toon knows of this going on. Mini Two knows that people love to go into his inventory and literally leak things. So I'm almost certain here that Mini Toon has probably added in this little bit of a decoy just to kind of put a foss at our trails type thing. And he's made it look like this skinny fella is going to be called Tio. Although it's probably going to be called something else which we will be getting into later on in this video. But Tio in Spanish literally means uncle and I, feel, for, but I believe that I've seen somewhere that it's to do with the Day of the Dead. So that's going to be really interesting interesting to see how that's going to add in because of it being an uncle. Maybe it's going to have something to do with Pony like I've been mentioning in the past, but again we will just have to wait and find out. But Tio also stands for the Insolence Overlord or the Insolence Overseer. So that is an extremely cool name that I don't think is really going to actually fit into a speech box. So uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be seeing the Insolence Overlord or is it just going to be called Tio. Number 9, Z. Now here is a little fun fact for you guys that I bet that you guys pretty sure did not know. This is going to be a pretty huge talking point going forward inside of Piggy. Now did you know through the entirety of Piggy that Z never actually says a word. Only Zuzi has ever said something towards George, but Z still to this day from the beginning has never said anything. Now could there be some reason behind this as to why Z has never said a word? Could this actually mean something to do with the insolence and potentially the infection not speaking? But when I saw this the other day, I thought that this was a pretty huge secret that I did want to bring up in this secrets video because the fact that Z never says a word through the entire Piggy story is pretty crazy. We've seen Z all the way from the mole chapter all the way to now, so that's 9 plus roughly three so that's an entire 12 chapters that Z has not said anything. Is she going to say something towards the end of Piggy book 2? I'm sure that we're going to have to wait and find out. Number 10 Employee of the Month now, courtesy of a good friend here, Piggy Discussions on Twitter, they actually, they do some tweets here and there, basically giving out some fun facts. Now, I'm saying that they must have got this fun fact from Minitoon. Minitoon must have DM'd them and basically given them this fun fact. So right here, I'm going to put an image up on the screen, which is from Piggy Discussions. And they say, fun fact, Minitoon initially wanted to add a photo into the station map with your user's avatar on it, saying, employee of the month so that people knew that the player was an officer. Now clearly that was never pulled off, that never happened, but that was a really cool little secret that actually did come out just the other day. I do think that 
adding like a picture of our user's avatar into an actual game and seeing our avatar on an actual picture, I feel like that would have actually been a really cool little input right there. And if Minitoon could go back and add that in, I would actually openly welcome that into Piggy. I think that that would be a really cool idea and a really cool little feature to actually have in the station. Number 11, she knows. Now I did bring this up in a recent video about the top 10 notes, but I'm going to be bringing it up in today's video because I have not yet covered it in a top 10 secrets in Piggy. Now if you go into the ship map on the Medora, there are two notes. One that says she, which is literally right here up on the stairs, and there's also another one that says nose, which is right on top of the Medora, and you can literally just look over the balcony and it's literally right there. Now this does reveal quite a few things. This does mean that both Budgie is keeping something close to her chest. Budgie knows something that we don't and we know that Budgie is some form of liar because of that swimming pool accident lie that she has told us. But I do think that this note inside of the ship map is one of the most interesting notes inside of this chapter. What exactly does Budgie know and why exactly is she keeping it close to her chest? Well guys I'm sure that we are soon to find out. Number 12, Kona. Now of course Kona was a brand new character that we did meet in Piggy Book 2 Chapter 9. But unless you've seen one of my videos before, I bet you did not realise this secret. So I'm going to take you way back to Piggy Book 2 Chapter 1, The Alleys, and there is a note that is underneath the door that says, Can K come out and play? Now that K literally has enough room for the name Kona. So does that mean that Kona potentially knows William? Does that potentially mean that Kona knows where William is? Well, we do know that this whole storyline that happened way back in the alleys, it happened a decade ago. So of course, Kona would have been a lot younger back then. And also potentially around the same age as William. So I'm pretty certain that this can K come out to play is actually speaking about Kona here. And I do feel like a lot of people did actually miss this secret when Minitoon was hinting at Kona coming out in Piggy Book 2 Chapter 9. Number 13, Pacifica. Now again, if you haven't seen a fun fact video of mine, did you know that Primrose was actually going to be called Pacifica? Now Minitoon did actually give me this fun fact little secret way back when I did the fun fact video. And I did think that this was a really, really cool secret just to know that Primrose was originally going to be called Pacifica. A random little secret for you guys there, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> On to the next. Number 14, Original Mr. Stitchy. Now did you know that Mr. Stitchley actually came from one of Minitoon's older games? So this guy that you're seeing on screen right here is literally the original Mr. Stitchy way before Piggy was even a game. Now this character was one of Minitoon's favourite characters that he has ever created. Which is why Minitoon decided that he wanted to take that character from a previous game and import it into Piggy for the storyline. Now this previous Mr. Stitchley I'll be honest, pretty creepy, looks extremely weird, but I do like the little addition that Minitoon has added into Piggy. M Mr. Stitchy, he looks really cool now, but there also is another Mr. Stitchy that is from the Lost Book that is extremely cool, and I feel like Minitoon could actually potentially be, you know, contemplating actually bringing that one into Piggy when we do finally come across Mr. Stitchy. Number 15, Breakthrough. Now guys, we have finally had a very small breakthrough with the Piggy Intercity notes. Now again, a good friend of mine, Piggy Discussions, also JB Bolter, tweeted out this on Piggy Discussions. Intercity notes, one of the Piggy Intercity notes have been successfully decoded after six months. This was done with the help of a Creepcraft fan, providing Creepcraft with the information that we needed to get this far. Now with this tweet came this picture right here. Does this this get anywhere with the intercity notes says JB and then Minitoon replied underneath saying one of those looks right to me 
That is extremely exciting and after this video has been recorded I will most definitely be going into those notes and seeing if I can actually figure out anything from this. So those words that it could potentially be is theatre, centuries, have, father, cathedral, Siri, some and Victorian. Now I'm going to take out a few options here. I don't think it's going to be Siri. I have no idea why it's going to be Siri. Some, it could be some but I don't feel as though that this is going to be any kind of sentence because we don't really have any two letter words. We don't have any three letter words. The smallest word that we do actually have in this secret message is a four letter note. If I was to guess out of any of these, I feel like it's going to be either theatre, Victorian, or potentially father. Reason being, I feel like theatre is going to be potentially some form of operating theatre coming towards the end of book two, but I could be wrong. Victorian, yes, Minitoon and Ikeas, they do love their creepy stuff, so going back to the Victorian times and that kind of setting and that kind of like whole entire appearance, I feel like actually it does really appeal to Minitoon and Ikea so potentially it, a Victorian could actually be right and also of course Cathedral kind of the same as Victorian I feel like these guys they love their kind of creepy stuff so I feel like Cathedral could go into it as well and of course Father could be another one as well just simply because we have spoken about Mr. Stitchy potentially being Pony's father. So you guys best know that I'm going to be trying to figure out this one as I have finished recording this video. Number 16 Character Hands now I did actually do this fun fact way back in a fun fact video. I never actually did this in a secret video, but did you know that all of the male character hands actually have fingers and all of the female characters hands are just gloved hands? So that's a pretty easy way to try and figure out what characters are what gender. Now I would just like to note this isn't 100% true, but it is a roughly 90% accurate. I'm aware that there are a couple of characters out there that do have the opposite gender hands. But like I said, this is literally 90% accurate and we this is a good little like secret as well just simply because of that whole Dessa thing being a transgender character it really does show that Dessa went from being a male character now to being a female character because she does have those gloved hands so did you know about this little secret well let me know in the comment section down below I do love to know if I actually do teach you guys something here and there number 17 the eye now I'm actually going to mention something here that potentially you have actually not considered here. Now did you know that the Insolence Eye started turning up around the same time that we met TSP? Now of course we've had the Insolence Eyes turn up in the port and we've had it turn up in like a couple of other maps, the sewers, and there's that whispering one down there as well. But these Insolence Eyes have actually started turning up ever since we actually met TSP. So we've never had an Insolence Eye in book one. We didn't even have one in the alleys, which of course happened before book one. But the Insolence Eye starts to turn up when TSP are around, the silver pool. And linking back to another secret that I have actually mentioned in today's video is that, yeah, there's the Insolence Eye that's in the school in the intercity. So does that mean that at the end of book two, these characters are going to go back to school. Does that mean that we are going to find William and William has basically lost out on a lot of school time and that William is going to go back to school and the insolence eye is going to follow him? Does that mean that William could well be the insolence. Guys, at this point, my brain is literally exploding. But if you guys do have any theories on this, then again, let me know in the comment section down below. Number 18, Miss P disappeared. Now we all know that Piggy Intercity does take place after Piggy Book 2. So the time story basically goes alleys, Book 1, Book 2, and then Piggy Intercity. So we have actually got a game that is taking place after Book 2. Now we all know that Mrs. P, you know, window in the city. Well, if you actually go into Intercity and go to the city and take a look at the exact same window that Mrs. P is in, she has disappeared. Now where has Mrs. P gone? Well, that's basically the end of Piggy Book 2. We're gonna kind of find out what has actually happened towards the end of Piggy Book 2 for her to disappear from that window in the city from Book 2 
then changing into Intercity. So if you guys do have any theories about where she has disappeared to, then let me know in the comment section down below. Number 19, Fire Land Under. Now, luckily for you guys, if you don't have Twitter, then I'm actually going to fill you in here. Minitoon recently did a show where he got asked three words to describe the next chapter. Those three words being fire, water, and under. Now, the fire. What are we going to be expecting with fire? Well, we're expecting the explosions that did happen at the end of the ship map. There were explosions in the distance. So, potentially, we are going towards the military. And when you get military, you get firearms, you get bullets, you get explosions. So, I'm sure that that is what the fire means. The next word, we had water. Now, what exactly is water? Well, if we have fire, the water, I'm sure, is probably going to put the fire out. So, I'm sure that there's probably going to be something inside of Piggy Chapter 9 where you have to basically put out the fire by maybe putting a hose on it or something like that. So I'm assuming that that is where Minitoon was going with that word. And finally, the most interesting one right here is the word under. Now I did a video last week so if you would like to go and check that out then make sure to do so. I think that you would actually really like it because you know someone stole my, my theory JB. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking guys. I'm joking. <laughs> but there was a cryptid message here that <laughs> Minitoon actually put out on Twitter basically saying something along the lines of the insolence watches thy crimes. The insolence watches thy crimes for lifetimes or something like that off the top of my head. I really can't remember but it was something again something to do with the underneath the insolence watches from the underneath and what exactly is the underneath well here's that video to go and find out exactly where i stand on that message number 20 the recording now this was one of the biggest secrets that did come out in piggy chapter 8 and i'm going to play you guys a very short little clip basically just showing you guys this cryptid message but all the way put together. So there you go, we did bring that up earlier in the video with the whole Zizzy, her hand gone, but this is actually a piece of audio that actually B-Slick did post to YouTube at one point, just put in reverse. But the thing is, is that the whole entire clip is actually split up, so uh, you know, like 10 seconds, you'll have Zizzy, and then about 20 seconds later, you'll have another section of the whole encrypted message. But I've actually put the entire message together here, so that you guys can actually listen to it all in one. Now the interesting thing here is that yes, we have learned that Zizzy's hand is gone. It has disappeared. It has been cut off because she did get scratched and she did become infected. However, the other interesting thing right here is that it basically says that the insolence calls to you and it looks as though whatever it is, the insolence actually has Zizzy. The insolence knows about Zizzy's whereabouts and what exactly is actually happening to Zizzy right now. It's also telling us to smile for him, which is just a little bit weird. So I'm assuming that this potentially has something to do with the friend skin that you do spawn in in the port chapter. This guy seriously has to have something to do with the unsolence as well as Mr. Stitchy. Number 21, Rash's Existence. Now it is pretty clear since Piggy Book 2 Chapter 9 that Rash could potentially be infected. It is simply because that Tigri is saying that he wants to try and cure his friend. Now we know that Tigri and Rash were friends due to that note in the refinery. They all took one look at me and just threw me away like I was nothing to them. Not Rash though, we were alike. 
we were friends. So this is the first time that we actually had an idea that Tigri and Rash were good friends. And of course in the end cutscenes of Piggy book 2 chapter 9, Tigri does go on about trying to save his friend. And he's also basically trying to get us to leave Willow and basically join sides with Tigri so that we can try and actually save Rash. Now I'm not entirely sure who I actually trust at this point but the way that Tigri did come across in those end cutscenes to me it was pretty sus. So which side are you taking? Are you hashtag team Willow or are you hashtag team Tigri? I hate to say it but I genuinely think that I'm hashtag team Willow. I just cannot see that the storyline is going to make Willow a bad person if we're trying to save her younger brother. I mean sure Willow's made some bad mistakes in the past but guys I really can't see Willow being the bad person at the end of book two. But can I see Tigri being the bad guy at the end of book two? Actually, do you know what? Yes, I can. I genuinely think that Tigri could actually be a bad guy. But more videos on that to come out on the channel. Number 22, Cryptid Messages. So I did do a video rounding up Piggy Book 2 Chapter 8's secrets. Now today I'm going to be going through these just in case you did not see that episode or just in case you simply just skipped that part of the video and you never actually managed to get these messages. Now courtesy of a friend of mine, Big Dad T, he actually managed to figure out loads more cryptid messages that were hidden inside of Piggy Chapter 8. Those cryptid messages reading out, you have fallen fallen for the trap. She will just keep you hostage. Escape her. The next one reading, they are in an endless loop. You are regretting all your decisions. The next one then reads out saying, Zizzy will never speak. The insolence calls to you. Help me. Run. Her hand. Gone. Smile for him. The next one then says, when the full moon rises, Beware of the shadows. Ooh, scary. And the next one then says, make sure to smile when you die. It makes us happy. The next one is a decoded message which actually reads out saying, we stop them up there and we'll stop you too. The next message reads out saying, the reason you are here is because of her. That is interesting. So who exactly is her? Could it be Zizzy? Could it be Willow? I mean, there's not really that many females around. Maybe even Mrs. P. And finally, the last one says, next time you meet her, stay a good distance. Now, I will say that I'm interested as to where Big Dad T actually found these notes or these coded messages because there are actually quite a few. But these messages are extremely cool. It gives us some really good depth of like storyline as well with the whole her going on as well. That has been you know, hinted quite a fair bit. And even when the full moon rises, beware of the shadows. Extremely creepy. Number 23, The Tomb. Now there are some crazy characters coming in Piggy Book 2. So if we go into Piggy Book 2 Chapter 9 and go down into the tomb room where it looks as though potentially absolutely everything happened with the insolence, there are some coffins, some tombs, and two of them actually have some signs on. Now this one says, Here lies King Milo. May he rule over the realm of the dead for eternity. So that's our king, King Milo. Pretty interesting and I will be keeping an eye out for who potentially Milo could be. Now on the opposite side of the room you have here lies Queen Viola. May she continue her fierce conquests in the afterlife. So it looks as though Queen Viola and King Milo they have very much the same motive. It's very much about the afterlife and all of the realms and it looks as though they're really not going to be that cool. It looks like you know the fierce conquests and rule over the realm of the dead for eternity. This is some creepy stuff right now. So who are your theories as to who King Milo is going to be? Do you guys think that it is going to be Mr. Stitchy? And do you think that Queen Viola could potentially be Mrs. Stitchy? I mean, if we get a Mrs. Stitchy, that would be insane. But these little secrets in Piggy Book 2 Chapter 9 is pretty cool because it does explain that there is going to be a King Milo and a Queen Viola coming to Piggy Book 2 Chapter 9 and it does sound as though that they are going to be really really cool bosses at the end of Book 
2. Can you just imagine a boss fight between King Milo and Queen Viola and we're literally trying to battle the two of them? Dang, that would actually be insane. Number 24, Survivor Savior. Now, oh my goodness, did this actually spark a little bit of arguments the other day. Now, did you know that, that we will be getting some form of Savior Survival toggle button? It has been brought up in the past by quite a few content creators that this thing going on, it's really hard to actually go back and just literally change the entire story going forward. So I put a tweet out on Twitter and Minitoon did get back to me saying that he is going to add this feature into Piggy in the end of Piggy Book 2. Now, I'm extremely excited for this little toggle button to finally come but I do think it's probably going to come at the end of book two once it has completely finished. After all we will be getting some form of true ending towards the end of book two so potentially Minitoon is going to add this savior survival toggle button in just before then because I believe that this true ending is probably going to be some form of thing going through the survivor or the survival and obviously one of those endings is going to be the true ending and of course in that journey you then probably have to try and find something either in the survivor ending or the savior ending. So I'm really excited for that feature to be added in because that will waste a lot of time if we don't get that added into Piggy. Number 25, Station Prison. Now again, courtesy of Piggy Discussions, he put this tweet out the other day. Again, just like the secret we just had, this one says, Fun fact, the station's image was uploaded as prison map. Does this mean that book one, chapter two would have originally been named the prison? So way back when this chapter was actually uploaded to Piggy, it looked as though that the station chapter was originally going to be called the prison. Now, of course we have some form of prison inside of the station. So I do think that this chapter is kind of confused. However, it is just a cool little fun fact that this station chapter was originally going to be called the prison. Imagine going from the house and then literally going straight to the prison. That would have been some storyline. Number 26, Swarm Mode. Now, if you did not see this video the other day, we are going to be getting a completely brand new game mode added into Piggy. Now, this game mode is literally going to consist of 10 bots, although I'm not entirely sure about 10 bots. We're basically going to be having a bot spawn in every minute. So it's very similar to 100 player biggies with the 10 player bot, but I feel like this time it's going to be a little weird simply because I don't think that we ever really get past five minutes. If you're a good player, you never really get past five minutes. So at most you're probably going to see five bots, maybe even four. So I feel like if you are a noob at this game, like me, you're probably going to end up seeing more bots. However, because I am not so much of a noob, I actually know where spawn things are and I know how to unlock things and I know where things are. So I think that I will be okay. But for the newcomers to the game, yeah, rest in peace. Number 27, Underwater. Now this is actually a really interesting one. So let me know in the comment section, did you actually know this? Now I'm actually gonna put a tweet up on the screen right now by Minitoon and this reads out saying, Ahoy everyone, here's a fun Piggy fact number two. A lot of the plot from Piggy comes from an older project of mine set in a post-apocalyptic world set underwater. Never got to finish it, so I thought I'd incorporate it into this, as well as upcoming projects. So, upcoming projects, what exactly do you have in mind for that mini tune? Now, there's actually something later on in this video that is going to link back to this tweet. But just the fun fact that, you know, Piggy was actually based from an older project that was in a post apocalyptic world set underwater that is extremely weird number 28 the container now i'm actually going to do a completely different video on this secret because this is actually pretty interesting and i feel like there's actually more meaning behind this now if you go to the blue container that is actually in the ship map right down at the bottom just as you escape the door there is some banging that actually happens so uh yeah just take a quick listen to this
So of course there's like some creaking and there's also some, you know, banging or rattling as if someone is like running their hand along the inside of that crate. Now what exactly is inside this crate? Well guys, there's no voices coming from the crate so that must mean that whatever is inside is infected. After all, we do know that the infected do not speak simply because of that carnival end cutscene. So what exactly is inside of that crate? Or should I say who? is exactly inside that crate. Again, like I said, there will be a video coming this week on this secret. Number 29, Nazar Amulet. Now I'm actually going to give some credit to the one, the only, Creekcraft right here because Creekcraft actually did a video just yesterday literally going through this secret and he actually found a pretty big secret and I watched his video and I'll admit, it really didn't look as though he found a secret as big as he did. Like this whole thing that he found literally explained what the Eye of Insolence is. So let's go through this from the beginning. Minitoon tweeted out some emojis to hint towards Piggy Chapter 9. And in those emojis you had a hammer, you also had a tiger, which is obviously Tigery. You also have a robot, which could potentially be Mr. P or Robbie. And you also had some weird little eye thing right at the end. Well, what Creekcraft did is he went and took that emoji emoji from the end, the Eye of Insolence looking one, and he copy and pasted that into Google. And that emoji actually came out as the Nazar Amulet. Whatever the Nazar Amulet is, well, we're actually about to get into that. So straight from Wikipedia, a Nazar Amulet is basically a word deriving from Arabic, meaning sight, surveillance, attention, and other related concepts. It's an eye-shaped amulet believed to protect against the evil eye. Now that's quite interesting. Does that mean that whatever this Eye of Insolence is going to be is actually going to be trying to save us against the evil eye. Whatever this Nazar amulet thing, it really doesn't sound as though it's that bad. Does that mean that we're going to be getting a different type of eye of insolence in chapter 9? It is commonly believed that the evil eye can be given in the geese or guise of a compliment, signifying its connection to the destructive power of jealousy. Amulets such as the Nazar are used in accordance with the common sayings such as an eye for an eye. The evil eye causes its victim to become unwell the next day unless a protective phrase such as with the will of God is recited. Two very mixed opinions on this one. I'm really not entirely sure what to make out of this but the fact that Creekcraft actually copied and pasted this emoji into Google and found something called the Nazar amulet which technically what it's saying is it's trying to protect against the evil eye. So could that explain the future of the Eye of Insolence? Could this be giving us an insight into the finale of Piggy Book 2? Well guys, we're just going to have to wait and find out. Number 30, Penny's Eyes. Now this is something that I actually thought the other day in the distorted memory chapter. You actually don't ever get to see Penny's eyes. Could that be because she's infected? And also you don't actually get to see the side of her head as well. So does that also mean that she's going to have that weird black stuff going around her, potentially meaning that she is part of the insolence? Because at this point, there are quite a few characters around the area that, you know, they're, they're, they're becoming the insolence. They're becoming like they've got this insolence eye. They also have this black stuff going around their heads. Does that mean that way back, literally Penny is the, doing the exact same thing? Because at this point, what's telling me is happening here is that those red eyes that were in the sky in distorted memory are basically turning people into the insolence. That is currently my stance as to what is actually going on with these eyes and what is making all of these like infected characters turn more intelligent. So I just wanted to put that little secret out there that, you know, we don't actually ever get to see Penny's eyes. Does that mean that she's actually got the insolence eyes in that distorted memory chapter? And does she also have that black sort of like crawling stuff going around her face. Well guys, that's going to be something that we are going to get to further down the line. Number 31, Nightmare Mode. 
Now courtesy of a good friend of mine, Piggy Discussions, they actually put this fun fact out on Twitter just the other week. Now they put, fun fact, recognize the icon? It's the old player crossbot icon. Player and bot may have been called Nightmare in the earlier stages of Piggy. And of course that fun fact came from Wondrous Ninja, but right here in this image you can see that it literally says Nightmare Mode, which is the original player plus bot, so that is what the player plus bot was originally going to be named. And I'll be honest, I think that that would have been even better than just the simple player plus bot. I think nightmare mode, that would have been crazy. So maybe Minitoon can maybe keep that nightmare mode in the future and add that into Piggy Book 2 or Book 1 at some point because I feel like that is a really cool name for a mode. Number 32, Ikea's. Now Ikea's fans, you will be glad to hear this secret. Ikea's is returning to building in Piggy. Now don't get too excited because Ikea's has recently deleted her Twitter and it looks as though somebody actually took her Twitter handle. So if you are following some form of Ikea's account on Twitter, just know that Ikea's did actually delete her account. So please don't go again too confident in talking to them. But yes, you heard me correctly. Ikea's is returning to Piggy. Ikea's will be building chapter 10. Ikea's has created some crazy maps, the sewers being one of the best one in the whole Piggy books. And with new hints coming out recently about Piggy chapter 10, I feel like Ikea's is literally the person to be creating this chapter. Ikea's creates so much scary things going on inside of Piggy, it's literally crazy. So I'm really looking forward to Ikea's finally coming back and actually creating content. Number 33 she can live on. Now this one is also slightly linking towards the container. There is a note right here that says, they got me next to captain. I was the last. I'm sealing this ship so that she can live on. I failed too many people today, but I refuse to fail everyone. Kenneth. So I'm quite intrigued as to why Kenneth was sealing the ship so that she can live on. Who exactly is she? Was he speaking about Budgie to kind of try and save Budgie? Or was he basically speaking about potentially something in that blue crate. After all, we do know that Budgie was scratched by something and is a complete liar and did not lose their arm inside of that swimming pool accident. It's going to be something to do with getting scratched or, you know, bitten by an infected. But I do find that this note is extremely interesting. I feel like the whole her thing is quite interesting that there could be somebody else down in the ship that we haven't yet seen or heard from that is basically trying to save from going out into the open. Number 34, who summoned? Now guys, I feel like this is a pretty big secret that I feel like really not a lot of people were actually considered here. Now of course that we're expecting, you know, uh, Mr. Stitchy to spawn in via some beacon and we're kind of expecting it to happen in the future. Well, what if I was to actually tell you guys that maybe Mr. Stitchy has already been spawned in because we kind of spawned him in. <laughs> so of course in the forest chapter there was a limited time mode where you had to basically collect five candles then you had to go to the broken down little shack type thing and you basically had to put five candles in a pentagon shape and then all of a sudden Mr. Stitchy spawned in from some purple looking beacon? Would you call that a beacon though? I mean it's definitely some kind of purple mist but a uh, beacon I'm not so sure. Beacons are normally something that are on top of buildings or on top of structures to basically warn like aircrafts and stuff like that that there is a building or a structure in the way. And also off the top of my head I'm pretty sure that any building or structure that is over 200 meters actually has to have a beacon. So what if we the player were actually the person that spawned in Mr. Stitchy because I'm pretty sure that in the forest chapter we actually spawned in the fella and there was some form of light that did create as he was spawning in and we also had to take Mr. Stitchy to another light or portal shall we say that was inside of that cave. So what if Mr. Stitchy is already in the game and what if no one else actually spawned in Mr. Stitchy 
but us, the character, the player. I just wanted to add that secret in today's video because I actually hadn't really thought about that until the other day and I thought, do you know what? I think that we might actually be to blame for this. But I would love to know your theories or suggestions down in the comment section down below. What do you guys feel about this secret? Do you think that I have a pretty valid point? Or do you think that we're going to still be waiting for Misty to Stitchy to spawn in the future? Number 35, Insolence. Now we are getting closer and closer to actually finding out what the insolence is going to be or who the insolence is actually going to be. Now I'm sure that quite a few of you guys have probably seen this one but I'm sure that quite a lot of other people have never seen this. Now did you know that the insolence literally means rude and disrespectful behaviour? And one thing with the entirety storyline of book two is I would say it's been quite confusing. We've had the Nazar amulet which was kind of giving us positive vibes and now we're also getting the insolence which is rude and disrespectful behavior so I kind of have a funny feeling that there is something weird going on here potentially two different entities let's face it the Nazar amulet was literally a protection thing it was doing good things however the insolence is rude and disrespectful behavior so these two don't really marry up very well but before we do end this video i want you guys to go into the comment section down below and tell me who do you think the insolence is going to be or do you think it's going to be a group or do you think it's going to be some form of item let me know in the comment section down below number 36 survivor now did you know or notice that in Piggy chapter 10 that if you play the survivor ending it is literally only Pony, Player and Willow that carry on into the next chapter. I do feel like a lot of the eyes have been all the way onto the saviour ending so I feel like potentially quite a few people have completely forgotten the fact of the survivor ending simply because it's just not really the most interesting one out there. But in the saviour ending all the characters go together. However in the survivor ending Robbie stays behind to actually look after all of the children. So I feel like the survivor ending is actually going to be pretty interesting as to how that one is going to play out. Like I said, it's literally only Pony, Player and Willow going in to Piggy Chapter 11. Number 37, Eye Patch. Now you guys have all seen this image right here. This image right here is of course the red eyes in the distorted memory chapter. Now of course this insolence guy Tio, it really doesn't actually leak or link into these red eyes that are in distorted memory. However, this Tio guy is of course wearing an eye patch. Now why exactly is this guy wearing an eye patch? Well, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a secret here and a theory as to why I believe he is wearing an eye patch. Now I don't believe that it's going to be some form of bunny eye patch simply because bunny did get infected. She got scratched on the eye and that is of course how she became infected. So I don't think that Tio is wearing an eye patch for that reason. However, because of this distorted memory chapter eyes, you see very clearly two Two red eyes literally staring at you. Now I believe that when Tio takes off this blindfold or this whole eye patch thing that it actually infects you. It controls you in a way that this man is actually going to be some form of voodoo doll. I feel like if Tio actually takes off this eye patch, he is then in control of whoever he is looking at. So that is potentially the reason as to why Tio is wearing an eye patch. Number 38 dynamic bot. Now courtesy of a good friend of mine Piggy Discussions also known as JB Bolter he tweeted out this future skin mini tune may introduce a dynamically changing skin slash character in the future this would be a character who slowly turns infected while in the map then by the end of the chapter the character turns to completely infected. Now I feel like this feature would be extremely cool there is a few things on Call of Duty at the moment that are of course I'm actually a pretty big fan of Call of Duty you do get guns that basically change like camo as you go along in the game so I feel like maybe Minitune is taking some form of inspiration from this and adding this into Piggy but the idea of a Piggy literally going from its normal state all the way until its infected state is such a cool idea number 39 bunny 
Now this was a secret that did get brought up probably last year, quite some time ago, but if you are new to Piggy, you probably did not know this. Now did you know that Bunny actually has an eye patch on because Bunny got infected via a scratch to the eye? So if we get a little bit closer to Bunny and we literally take a little bit of a look behind this blindfold, you will see that Bunny's eye is literally scratched. There is a black eye behind there with three claw marks that are red literally traveling right through Bunny's eye. So that is how Bunny got infected. But the only thing is we have no idea who actually scratched Bunny at this point and it may not even matter. But for some people I think Bunny's infection falling sick came a little bit quick and not really anybody really knew how Bunny actually got infected. Now of course the actual story of her being scratched never got shown in Piggy. But the fact that she literally got scratched on the eye tried to wear like some pirate blindfold thing to try and hide it was pretty crazy. Number 40, Event Skins. Now I did a quiz the other day that Mr. JB Bolter actually created for Creecraft and there was something pretty interesting in there that maybe not a lot of you guys did actually notice. Now I think that I noticed this way back when I was doing all of these like piggy roleplay skin release type things and I was using the uh, like the images in the background to basically put these characters inside. But did you know that an event skin actually has a yellow border around its character? Meaning that this character was once a part of an event. I mean I never really considered it as a secret I guess because I just knew it but a lot of people probably didn't actually notice this so a pretty cool secret number 41 extra eye now I know, we literally just went from the insolence eye to another insolence eye fact here. Now, if you go into Intercity, and of course we're going to mention again that Intercity does take place after book two. If you go to the school chapter, you can actually see another insolence eye. Now of course this one doesn't actually exist in the original Piggy book one, like school map. So this one is an additional insolence eye. Now does that mean that the eye of insolence whatever it is going to be is not going to be defeated? Does this mean that this is some form of clue that the eye of insolence is going to live on? Because one thing is for certain that an extra eye showing up in the school chapter is extremely weird. Number 42, Dessa. Now did you know that we are actually in Pride Month? This month we celebrate the gays, lesbians, bisexuals and also transgender. Now if you take a very close look to the Piggy Discord, you can actually see that the main image is an image of Dessa. Now did you know that Dessa is in fact a transgender character? And you can tell this because Dessa is a deer and deers like the males they only ever get the antlers, the females they don't get the antlers. So you can clearly see that Dessa has antlers and Dessa has a lot of Roblox features that basically hints towards Dessa being a female. For example she has the gloved hands rather than the fingered hands and Dessa is also a female name. But this does clearly show that Dessa went from being a male due to having the antlers to a female, making Dessa a transgender character inside of Piggy. Hence the reason that that is why Dessa is the main image for the Piggy Discord chat. This is a way of Minitoon and the Piggy team to actually celebrate the LGBT community and it's also their way of celebrating Pride Month. I'll be honest, when I saw this, I actually thought, wow, that is a really cool secret. So again, did you guys know that one? Let me know in the comment section down below if you knew this secret. Number 43, Factory Page. Now I'll be honest, I haven't really bothered getting these pages, however I've seen that these pages are actually revealing quite a fair bit in the Piggy storyline. Now I'm going to read out this chapter 6 factory one because there's something actually pretty interesting in this page. Chapter 6, Factory, 
Willow almost teasingly gave us a head start in our duel. She fired her weapon into the air, destroying the light above us and covering the scene in darkness. The whispers started to take over again. This time, he and not responsible were all I could make out. As Pony and I made our way around the factory, we came across many of the Silver Paw members in danger. I still wonder how they got into those situations. I felt a cold presence when approaching them. Regardless, we saved them all while taking care of Willow. Now the really cool secret inside of this is that of course the player, the detective, we're actually hearing these whispers. There have been a couple of dialogues where we have been known to say things about the whispers. However, the whispers were happening in the factory and this time it was he and not responsible. So who could this actually be speaking about? Could this be speaking about Mr. P or could this be speaking about Pony? because Pony does feel as though he is responsible for some things that have happened. I know that Creecraft is probably leaning towards Mr. P being the uh, guy that they're speaking about here, but I really feel as though that this could actually be speaking about Pony because this map actually had quite a lot of like dialogue and kind of backline story about Pony. There was that note basically mentioning one thing or another. I'll put it up onto the screen right now so that you guys can have an idea of what I'm actually speaking about here. But clearly it's somebody that we think that is responsible for what have ha has ever happened here with the infection you know this whole apocalypse that has happened in the piggy storyline another thing is that we felt a cold presence when uh, approaching the silver poor members in danger now that for me is pretty weird this does prove that whatever the insolence is or something or other it's going to be some form of paranormal kind of presence this is whatever has put these silver poor members in danger Danger. So I did think that this page was extremely interesting, which is why I had to add it in today's video. Number 44, Character Chapters. Now I'm sure a lot of us have been wondering when are we going to be getting the character chapters. Now Minitoon has actually confirmed somewhere around on Twitter that we will be getting chapter 11. Then we will be getting a character chapter. Then we will be getting another character chapter and then we will be getting chapter 12. So it's not going to go 11 chapter character 12 character chapter again it's literally going to be two character chapters in a row now i feel like these chapters are going to reveal an awful lot about piggy book 2 and potentially a lot of stuff that has happened in the past but what i would like you guys to do right now is i would like you guys to go into the comment section down below let me know who do you guys think that these character chapters are going to be about two characters go i would probably say i'm almost certain one is going to be pony and then i feel like another one is potentially going to be willow i feel like those are the two characters that potentially have the most meaning behind them and a lot of story that we still have not really known about. I mean I guess we had a little bit of a flashback with Willow way back in chapter 6 of book 2 so potentially that's not going to be a reason as to why we're going to be getting Willow so maybe it's going to be Tigri or something because there is a little bit of background around Tigri way back in the past as well so potentially we're going to find out a little bit more about that one. Number 45 Character Faces now again courtesy of Piggy Discussions, they have literally tweeted out quite a few good fun facts recently. So this one says, fun fact, on the 7th of March 2020, Minitoon said that he wanted to add character pictures to cutscenes so that it's more clear who's saying the dialogue. This never came. However, in book two, it tells us who is speaking. And then character pictures were added into Piggy into city. So Piggy Book 2 looked as though that the whole dialogue, the new design of the dialogue was actually going to have the character image inside of that text. But since then we actually didn't get that added into Book 2 which is yeah I actually quite like the way it is right now so I'm kind of happy that it didn't but for Intercity again I'm kind of glad that it is Intercity because I feel like a lot of people are going to have different characters so it'd be quite nice to see your character actually pop up inside of the dialogue. But I did think that this was a pretty good fun fact that Piggy Discussions did tweet out the other day because we were originally going to get these character pictures inside of the dialogue which never came but it then was eventually added into Piggy Intercity. Number 46 Codes 
Now with the release of chapter 10, we literally had another huge code literally sent our way. It looks as though we're going to be having some form of potentially four digit code that's actually going to be having some meaning towards the end of book two. So in chapter 10, we had this note right here, which is literally a note with loads of decoded binary type stuff going on. You basically decode this and then you actually put it in backwards and then it gives you this. The second second is six. Now this is interesting because we did also have another note way back in the factory that said the first is four. So we currently have four and six. Four, six. What is that going to mean? Is that going to be the exit door right in the end of Piggy chapter 12? Or is this going to be carried over all the way into Piggy Intercity? Only time will tell. Number 47, Intercity Notes. Yes, I know, again, the intercity notes. Crazy, I know. These things have been getting pretty annoying for quite some time and still nobody has managed to decode these notes. However, we did get a little bit of an idea by Minitune just the other week about what these could actually mean. Now, somebody tweeted out the other week saying, Minitune, come on, man, it's been like ages since these notes have actually come to Piggy Intercity. I think it's been around roughly five months since these notes were added into Intercity and still nobody has found it. Come on, Minitune, help us out a little bit here. So someone asked him, you know, Minitune, can you help us out? Can you give us a little bit of a hint as to like how we can decode this? And Minitune basically replied along the lines of, do you know what? No, I'm not actually going to help you find a way how to decode it. But I will tell you what these notes will actually mean when you do finally decode them. And Minitune revealed that it is going to explain something pretty big for the storyline in Piggy Intercity. So when we finally do manage to decode these notes, these notes are going to give us a little idea as to what Intercity is going to be like. So again, another cool secret that Minitoon did come out with just the other week. Number 48, the cutscenes. Now the other day I believe that it was Piggy Discussions that actually put a poll out on Twitter and it basically asked what's your favourite thing about Piggy? Is it, you know, the cutscenes? Is it the storyline? Is it the actual gameplay itself? And what actually won was the cutscenes and then Minitoon actually replied something along the lines of, well, everyone's going to enjoy what's in store for Piggy Intercity then. So Minitoon basically confirmed that if everybody is enjoying the cutscenes, Piggy Intercity, when book two is all over and done with, this Intercity is going to contain a lot of cutscenes, a lot of storyline, and a lot of more stuff just going on around in Intercity. So I did think that that was a pretty cool secret that Minitoon did come out with just the other day on Twitter. Number 49, six more chapters. Now I think that quite a few content creators have actually covered this but not actually covered this in a video. I know that Creekcraft has brought this up in live streams and I have also brought this up in quizzes as well but we are actually getting six more chapters in book two. So at the time of this recording we are currently on chapter eight and we're still waiting on chapter nine to be released in a couple of weeks. However Minitoon has confirmed that he's actually going Going to be doing two distorted memory like chapters meaning that we still have chapters 9 10 11 12 and basically the distorted memory 1 and the distorted memory 2 still to come to piggy book 2 and then of course once those six chapters are all over and done with it looks as though we will be moving over to piggy intercity which i'm extremely interested to actually find out how that is actually going to work so again bear in mind there are only six more chapters left left in book two. Number 50, Nazar Amulet. Now I don't actually think that I've ever done a Nazar Amulet secret in my top 10 secret series, but I'm pretty sure that you guys do know what it is by now. But we're just going to go over this pretty quick, pretty short and pretty simple. So Minitoon tweeted out a hint way back before book two, chapter nine, and that hint involved this weird little eye thing. Now, if you actually hover over that weird little eye thing, it actually says that it is called a Nazar Amulet. Now my understanding of 
a Nazar amulet is basically a pendant in real life that literally saves you from the evil eyes. The evil eyes potentially being those weird little insolence eyes that you can see up in distorted memory. It also went on to speak about how it makes its victims feel unwell the next day and yeah, it's kind of just hinting towards what the insolence is. But I did think that this was a pretty huge secret that did come out at the time. Now if you have made it this far then congratulations, well done to you guys for sitting there and watching this entire video. Now what I'm going to do very quickly is I am going to put a Robux code on the screen right now so make sure to go and try and redeem that as quick as possible. That's my way of saying thank you for all of the support. But anyway guys, like I said at the beginning, if you would like to see more videos like this in the future then why not consider subscribing. Also let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see this series carry on. But anyway, that's going to be it from me today. Thank you all for joining and we shall see you guys in the next one.